Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Being Real. I am Joe. Get used to the face. Get used to the pace. We move quickly. And today we're talking about a $50,000 limit credit card for startup businesses. That's right, a $50,000 for a startup business. You don't need the Paydex score. You don't need the Duns number. You don't need the net 30s. Not for this card. We're going to talk about those things in a little bit, by the way, but I'm talking about for this card. They're very aggressive right now for startup businesses. They want a piece of that market for whatever reason. It's definitely time to take advantage of it. That's what we do. Strike while the iron's hot, right? Absolutely. So we're talking about the Goldman Sachs GM business card. Write it down if you need to, or just watch the video again. (laughs) By the way, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so we can keep bringing you this information about the Goldman Sachs GM business card and other great cards and business lines of credit for your startup businesses. And we're talking about 0% folks for 12 months, 0% for 12 months. This is like a $50,000 loan for free. And well, not free because it's a loan. You have to repay it. But we're talking about interest free. Let me correct that a little bit. Interest free for 12 months. And if you're using this to get into your business ventures or you want to use it for your real estate business, you're going to go ahead and liquidate that card. And if you need to know how to do that, well, then just go ahead and check out some other videos on YouTube. There's lots and lots and lots of them teach you how to liquidate a credit card. You get up to $50,000. And where uh Goldman Sachs and GM is getting real aggressive with this thing is with their new startups. So, you know, like I'm saying, you don't need the DUNS number. You don't need this, the uh, Paydex score. You don't need the Equifax, Experian, business credit files. But you will need a 680 TransUnion 9 score from your personal. Now, this is a soft pool. They're going to soft pool your credit. And not a hard inquiry on your credit report, not for the pre-approval. And they're going to tell you how much you're going to qualify for. But you will need a 680 or better on your TransUnion 9. So look that up. Make sure that you're using your TransUnion 9 and make sure that it's at 680 or above. And that's the litmus test. That's what they want to see. Now, I'm going to go over a couple more things on this card. But first, I want to jump back and talk about this. We said you don't need a DUNS number. Um, you don't need a paid X score. You don't need your net 30s. And you don't for this card. Uh, but in general, you do. So let's go ahead and do those things because that's going to open up more and more and more doors. They're going to have lots more uh, financing opportunities like this one. But the more you have built into your business, obviously, the better off and easier the path. You're not going to find these cards every day. Although they'll advertise them out there every day, you're not going to really find them every day. The better your business, the better it, your business is established, the better off you're going to be. And speaking of which, and I can't can't really stress this enough, you need a business checking account. Go get a business checking account. I don't care if you're just a DBA. Hopefully you're an LLC or an S Corp or something. But even if you're a DBA, it doesn't matter. Get your employee identification number. Okay. Get the EIN. And that's from the IRS. They'll give that to you free right over their website too. And open a business checking account. Because when you start doing business, we're talking about with your big guys. Do it with your Chase, your Wells Fargo's, the B of A's, the Citibank's. Why? Even Amex. Why? Because you start building an internal business banking score. And it's not even internal, as a matter of fact. And they all have internal scores, but it's a business banking score in general that's shared with other people just by having a a checking account open with them. This is a freebie. It's way better than your net 30s. Get all the net 30s you can. Uh, That's that's not going to stand in your way. That's not going to be something that you want to ignore. But just opening a business banking account is huge and be running some money through there. You don't have to be running millions of dollars there. Just be showing weekly deposits and doing business. It creates a really, really nice score that adds to your business credit profile that you just, I mean, you can't buy it. So do that. I can't stress that enough. It's free and it's something that you can do for yourself to build your own scores up. 
Now, back to our friends at Goldman Sachs, uh, Goldman Sachs GM uh, business credit card. They're just really expanding their market right now. They want to get out there and they want to be involved with new businesses for whatever reason. Check your data points. You may be watching this today. You may be watching this in two years from now. But as of today, super aggressive towards these new business startups. So they don't want you to be perfect. They don't want you to look like you're, you know, Elon Musk or any of the Bill Gates or any of the big boys. They're out there taking a risk right now on your startups. So you can go in without those things that we mentioned earlier and your minimum qualifications are going to be that soft pull on your personal transunion nine of 680 or better, and you can get away with the rest of the stuff. Yeah, you don't have to be established. It's nice if you are, I mean, more power to you and more chances that you're going to get a really nice approval on outstanding terms. The more you have, the better. But I'm telling you what the minimum to do is. And today, it's absolutely possible, 100% possible to get that $50,000 limit card as a new startup, a brand new startup company. It's being done every day. So definitely check it out. And remember to hit the like button. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell notification if you would. So every time one of these things comes up and we pop this information out there, you're there to know. And if you have any questions at all, put them in the comment section below. Don't forget. I mean, I may have skimmed over something here, may have not mentioned something. Anything at all you need to know in addition, ask and I will personally answer it. And as always, if you need to talk about starting up your business, specific questions you may have, maybe even something that we weren't, weren't talking about in this video, hit me up in the comment section. I will get in touch with you directly. Personally, we'll, we'll arrange to, to get in touch with each other. And we have a one hour consultation that's free. Uh, not selling anything. There's nothing beyond that to buy either. <laughs> so do a one hour consultation on getting your business set up uh, correctly. Any questions you might have about starting your business, but take advantage today. If you possibly can remember the Goldman Sachs GM business card, $50,000 and the limits. And these are definitely for your start up companies. So hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Ring the bell notification. We'll see you on the next one.